Close your eyes, place your hands in your lap, and focus on your breath. Know when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out. And as for any thoughts that come in to disturb this, just let them go. You don't have to get involved with them. Because if you don't get involved, they can't make you leave the breath. It's when you get interested in them and you get involved in them, that's when things get complicated in the mind. But tell yourself right now, whatever thought comes up, you're not interested. What you're interested in learning how to do is train the mind to stay with the breath so it can develop good qualities in mind, develop strengths in mind. Because without these strengths, you're nowhere. You depend on things outside to make you happy. But if someone is totally dependent on things outside, you're never happy. There's always resentment. Why aren't they making me happier than I am? The real issue is that you're making yourself happy inside. This is the beginning of peace, when you realize, okay, the problem is not outside, the problem is inside the mind. The mind isn't properly trained. And so what can you do to bring about more peace? We talk about having peace inside the mind first and then peace outside, but what exactly brings about peace inside the mind? Well, one is thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for other people. Realizing that your true happiness has to lie inside. And so what other people do doesn't have to affect you. It still may be affecting you because your mind isn't trained well yet, but the more you get the mind trained, the more you realize you really can find have some happiness inside. So you're trying to develop goodwill for yourself and at the same time for other people. Because if you don't have goodwill for them, they're going to make life miserable for you. And that it's not fair that you're looking for your happiness and you don't care about the happiness of others. So when you think and say and do things, try to do it with thoughts of goodwill. Those are the first three principles. Kindly actions, kindly words, kindly thoughts. This brings about peace in the world, brings peace inside. Then the fourth principle is whatever material gains you get, you're willing to share. This is how conflict happens in the home, how conflict happens in society, is people are not willing to share. They just want to amass more and more of their own and not, not willing to share with other people, forgetting the fact that we live as human beings and we have to depend on others. We like to think about all that we did to earn our wealth, but remember, the things that we did depended on the goodness of others. And so you're, whatever you gain, you're willing to share with others. So whatever they gain, they're going to be willing to share with you. This is how we can live together as a human society. And then the fourth and fifth principles are right precepts, or right virtue, and right view. Now there was those precepts we took just now. Those are causes for peace in the world. If there was no killing, no stealing, nobody having illicit sex, nobody lying to anybody, nobody getting drunk, where would there be conflict in the world? Things would be a lot calmer. Everybody would be treating one another with fairness. That's because we overstep our precepts. We don't pay attention to these principles of right action, that this is what stirs up trouble in the world. And then finally, right view, the view that your actions really do determine your happiness or your misery. And so it's up to you to be very careful about what your actions are going to be. And you realize if you treat other people unskillfully, you're going to have some misery coming back at you. Now when you have views like this, it's very hard for people to cause harm to one another. And so it's in this way that we begin to find peace in society. As I said, you can't wait for everybody else to be peaceful first and then you'll be willing to go along. You've got to start on your own. Because at the very least, the area for which you're responsible is you can make that a peaceful area through acting and speaking and thinking with thoughts of kindness, thoughts of goodwill, being generous with what you've gained, following the precepts and having right view. These are the things that create peace in your sphere and you know how the spheres of human beings are connected. So peace in this sphere can spread around to another, another person's peace in another sphere. The important thing is that you not give in to the in input that's coming in from unpeaceful spheres outside. Other people come in and they have issues when they s say something nasty or do something nasty or think something nasty about you. Don't think that actually reaches you. Think of it falling flat at your feet. That way you don't have to pick it up and throw it back. Most part, we, if someone says something goes right into the heart, and then we have to get it out of our hearts, and then it comes out of our mouths and comes out in our actions again. And that's how lack of peace happens in the world. But if you think of whatever they say, it's just their words. As soon as the words are gone, said, finished, they're finished. Sound waves go out in the air, and that's all. You don't have to pick them up. It's like somebody throwing something dirty at you. You don't catch it. Just let it fall on the ground, and that's it. You don't have to get dirty yourself, and you don't have to get into a into a mudsling bat mud battle with the other side. So make sure on the one hand that you follow these six principles of a peaceful life, 
and that you don't abandon them when other people are abandoning them. You don't have to be nice to other people only on the condition if they're nice to you. That's never going to bring peace in the world. You have to start on the condition that, okay, I want peace in my life, and this is how it happens. And if other people throw lack of peace at you, well, just let it fall on the ground, and that's it. If you can think in these ways, the world will be a much more peaceful place.